Recording in progress. Good evening, everybody. I'd like to welcome you to the Whitehall City Council meeting of September 21st, 2021. If we'd all please rise for a moment of silence, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ms. Ogg, will you please call roll? Mainly. Present. Rodriguez. Present. Elmore. Present. Thompson. Present. Cantor. Present. Tech. Morrison. Present. President Potter. Present. Mr. President, move to excuse the absent member. Second. There's been a motion by Mr. Bailey, second by Mr. Rodriguez to excuse the absent member. Is there any discussion? Ms. Ogg, please call roll. Bailey? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Elmore? Yes. Connison? Yes. Cantor? Yes. Morrison? Yes. The absent member has been excused. Uh, at this time, we've got the approval of the minutes of the September 7th, 2021 agenda regular meeting minutes and the September 14th, 2021 emergency and special meeting agenda and meeting minutes. Thank you, Mr. President. I make a motion to approve the minutes. Second. There has been a motion by Ms. Connison, second by Mr. Cantor for the approval of the minutes. Is there any discussion? Ms. Ogg, please call roll. Bailey? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Elmore? Yes. Connison? Yes. Cantor? Yes. Morrison? Yes. The minutes have been approved. This now brings us to our first poll public of the evening. We'll invite members to come forward and please state your name, your address, and you'll have three minutes to speak. Me? If you're so inclined, <laughs> like, please. Okay. Uh, Dan Sizemore, live at 983 Denison Drive East. I have a couple photos here that I don't know if we get into here. But the clerk. What was your first name? Dan. Dan? Yeah. Okay, give me a second here before I find my map. Okay, I want to start off by saying that as a resident, I appreciate the work being done to make this a better looking city. The work being done at Fairport and Woodcliffe especially are doing, going a long way to doing that. But we have a recurring problem in the neighborhood where I live, and that's graffiti on that apartment wall. <laughs> this happens every few years, and it gets cleaned only to happen again. Uh, Saturday morning, I stepped outside, and somebody had spray painted it overnight. My wife and I have been residents since 1984 and homeowners since 1989. We like sitting in the front porch. We like visiting with the people that walk by. We like looking at our flowers, our bird feeders, and stuff like that out front. But you can't enjoy it when you're looking at graffiti all over the wall. It seems to me there's a fairly easy way to fix this. And some of the wall already has it done on it. And that's some sort of shrubbery, ivy, or something along the wall that would cover it so that they couldn't paint it. Um, you know, I mean, I know everything costs money, but if we want a beautified city, then, you know, this, this would go a long ways into doing that, too. Let's not forget about the people that live over here in the country club area, you know. So, that was really it. That's all I have to say about that. Thank you very much for coming Thank forward. Thank you, Mr. Sizemore. I appreciate Thank that. Thank you. <clears throat> Is there anybody else who would like to come forward for poll public? Hearing nothing, I'll move over to our standing committee reports. Administration and financial management, Chairperson Bailey. Thank you, Mr. President. Administration and financial management did meet last Tuesday. Our minutes are on file. We have a couple of items to introduce tonight. And we will meet again next mm -hmm. Tuesday, sometime after 6.30. Thank you. Community and Elder Advocacy, Chairperson Elmore. Thank you, Mr. President. Community and Elder Advocacy did meet on Tuesday. 
Uh, our minutes are on file. We have no pending legislation. And we will meet again 6.30 next Tuesday. Thank you. Thank you. Community Standards and Enforcement, Chairperson Rodriguez. Thank you, Mr. President. We met uh, Community Standards and Enforcement, also met last Tuesday. Minutes are on file. We'll meet again next Tuesday sometime after 6.30. Thank you. <coughs> Economic Development, Chairperson Morrison. Thank you, Mr. President. Economic Development also met last Tuesday. Our minutes are on file. We'll meet again next Tuesday sometime after 6.30. Thank you. Infrastructure, Maintenance, and Services. Mr. Baylor's going to take over. Chairperson Heck. Thank you, Mr. President. Structure, maintenance, and services did meet last Tuesday. Uh, we also have a couple of items to be introduced tonight. Uh, our minutes are on file, and we will meet again uh, next Tuesday sometime after 6 30. Thank you. Public safety, Chairperson Connison. Thank you, Mr. President. Public safety also <coughs> met last week, and our minutes are on file. We'll meet again next Tuesday sometime around 6 30. Very good. Parks and Recreation, Chairperson Camp. Thank you, Mr. President. Parks and Recreation met last week. Our minutes are on file. We'll meet again next week in the back over up here after 6 30. Thank you. Officials reports. Mayor Kim Mack. Good evening. Uh, thank you. I'm sorry if you can't hear me very well because of the mask. But um, I would just like to ask for favorable consideration of 80 and 81 uh, on. Uh, First reading, if it so pleases council, and I would also like to uh, uh, request 84 and 85 on first reading as well. Thank you. So you turning, Michael Bevis. Thank you, Mr. President, members of council. Thank you, everyone, for coming out this evening uh, from the city attorney's office. Uh, before I get into what happened today in mayor's court, I would like to go on the record just. Uh, to congratulate the Langport Homeowners Association that just celebrated again with its uh, celebration around the pond. Uh, the individual that leads that organization, his name is Jason Thomas, and it's appropriate to recognize him publicly at this point because he is a bona fide, true American hero that lives right in the city of Whitehall. If you don't know uh, Sergeant Thomas, he is a, a former, excuse me, I apologize, he is a United States Marine. Never. I know, never former Marine, that served uh, during uh, the 9-11 tragedy uh, that occurred in 2001. He took it upon himself to go to the ground zero without any prodding, without any uh, care of his own safety, having children at home, and got in there and served. Served not only the people that needed him, but served our country, served himself, served as God, and made the Marine Corps proud. And I am just honored to know him. I'm honored to know that he is serving right now in the city of Whitehall as the president of the Langport Homeowners Association. And I just wanted to congratulate that homeowners association as well as Jason Thomas, just for his continued service to our city and just for just being an all around great guy. And I just wanna say on the record, Semper Fidelis to my Marine Corps brother. He serves and he continues to serve uh, without any impunity and I just am so, thankful to have him here. Next, uh, within the city attorney's office, something happened today that I was going to call the chief because I have his number, but I thought it would be more appropriate to make this uh, recognition on the record tonight, and then I'll call uh, Chief Crispin tomorrow. But there was a different spirit today in our mayor's court. Um, people were very angry. They were disheveled. Um, they were, there was probably more belligerence that I've witnessed from the individuals in our court that I've seen in my past years of being city attorney. But one thing that I saw, which was just commendable, I saw Officer Jeremy Brown handle, at least on three occasions, being treated with disrespect, being talked to with, in a degrading tone, being almost from one individual almost goading him into some type of confrontation. But Officer Brown demonstrated the utmost professionalism. He demonstrated poise. He demonstrated class. He, he demonstrated what we are about in Whitehall. And I was so proud to sit there and watch him do that because, as you know, we serve, and we serve because we love to serve. Officers serve in a completely different way, and I say this often, 
I don't know if I could serve in that capacity. But the fact that I was able to witness a man serve in that capacity with doing nothing at all but trying to service our mayor's court and call cases to be treated with that type of disrespect but not respond and respond with the spirit of service warms my heart that he is a part of our police force. It warms my heart that he is a part of our team. And it makes me proud as just not only a citizen of Whitehall, but as the city attorney that serves in our mayor's court to, to have an individual like that that's here and is able to de-escalate a situation of no cause of his own. And so I just wanted to make a commendation to him publicly. I will make the phone call to Chief Crispin tomorrow to let him know that I did this publicly on the record, but I wanted to do this publicly because I know that this is transcribed and this is out for the public. And also he was here training um, another officer by the name of Matt Perez, and we had Art, Officer Art out at the door. And so it was just, it was a very different time, but all three officers, they handled it with grace, with integrity, and with service. And I just am so proud to have witnessed that. And I just wanted to make that declaration on the record this evening for members of council and for the public to hear. Yeah. Thank you very much. That's very nice to hear. Director of Development and Public Service, what? Thanks, Mr. President. I always really enjoy following the city attorney. His exuberance. Somehow he makes me look like a Buddhist monk. Um, I don't have any official report uh, this evening. I do want to introduce uh, our uh, city council and administration. I know the administration's already met her, but um, introduce uh, Kelsey Miller. Stand up, Kelsey. Um, this is Kelsey. Kelsey is our new economic development manager. She started last Monday um, and certainly uh, asked her to be here this evening um, so that uh, uh, we could. Um, uh, you guys could all have an opportunity to meet her, um, and she'll be here after council if anybody has any any questions. Wow. So, just wanted to welcome, much. formally welcome Kelsey to the scene. Thank you. Thank you. We are you. Director of Public Service, Van Greg is not with us this evening. Oh, I did. I'm sorry, Mr. Miller, that was not intentional. Thank you, Mr. President. I have no official report other than what you have before you which is also available to the public <coughs> on, the, on our uh, website under the auditor's uh, uh, page. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, again, our Director of Public Service, or some Public Safety is not with us this evening. Uh, our Treasurer, Mr. Quinzel, is not with us this evening. Uh, the following official reports have been filed in the Council Office since the last meeting. That would include the Auditor's Expense Report for August 2021, the Auditor's Bank Report for August 2021, mm -hmm. The Auditor's Statement of Cash Positions Report for August 2021. The Auditor's Revenue Report for August 2021. The Treasurer's Investment Report for August 2021. The Treasurer's Activity Fund Report for August 2021. And finally, the Treasurer's Fund of Reconciliation Report for August 2021. Under communications, petitions, and claims, there have been nothing filed in the Council Office since our last meeting. Ms. Ogg, will you please call roll as to whether each member of council was given a copy of each item of legislation listed on the agenda prior to the meeting, and including any additional add-on legislation? Bailey? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Elmore? Yes. Connison? Yes. Cantor? Yes. Morrison? Yes. Thank you. Now on to our legislation. Uh, third reading, we have got nothing listed for this evening, which will move us to our second reading. We have got Ordinance 76, 2021. Authorize the mayor to enter into contract with the public entities pool of Ohio, PEP, and declaring an emergency. Mr. President, I wish to introduce Ordinance 76 2021 and move for the suspension of all rules. Second. Uh, Mr. Morrison, with a second from Ms. Connison, has introduced Ordinance 76 2021 and requests to suspend all rules. Is there any discussion? Ms. Hogg, please call roll. Bailey? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Elmore? Yes. Connison? Yes. Cantor? Yes. Morrison? Yes. The rules have been suspended. Move to adopt. Second. Motion to adopt by Mr. Morrison, second by Ms. Connison. Any discussion? Ms. Ogg, please call roll. Bailey? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Elmore? Yes. Connison? Yes. Cantor? Yes. Morrison? Yes. Ordinance 76 2021 has been adopted. President Potter, can I say something about uh, the uh, contract with the pet pool? Please. 
Uh, I had met with our insurance agent this morning, and um, I know that they really worked hard. Uh, we were anticipating possibly a 15% increase in our liability insurance, uh, but however, they really whittled it down and uh, basically 6.5% increase in that uh, even um, is when um, we had a lot of our property value increase. So that means uh, we have to have more insurance to cover that. So that was even with the property uh, increases. And so I'd like to say that I know that um, it was a hard contract, but um, we really whittled it down. Also, um, we're waiting to hear back on the cyber liability. Uh, we do expect that to, to go up quite um, enough. I mean, quite. Substantially? Yes, thank you. Uh, last year, it wasn't that much. It was, uh, you know, I can say this considering I'm comparing it to liability insurance, but it was uh, $9,000. But uh, I was told, you know, it could go up as much as 100%, which, you know, double, yeah. It's wow. just the way it is with ransomware and all this that, that's going on and uh, cyber attacks and everything. But I uh, assured our... Um, our agent and he will get uh, back with the cyber companies that we're going out to bid for is that we also have an off-site uh, storage for all of our uh, uh, systems and uh, some of those are backed up five to six times a day so he's very happy to hear that but I just wanted the public to know that we're working diligently to make sure that um, all of our uh, data is safe and secure so thank you appreciate that information Ordinance 78, 2021, authorizing and approving the amendment of 161.13, special leave with pay and approving section 161.13D, pay parental leave and declaring an emergency. Mr. President, I'd like to introduce Ordinance 78, 2021, move for suspension of rules. Second. Uh, Ordinance 78, 2021 has been introduced by Mr. Bailey, second by Ms. Connison, with request to suspend all rules. Any discussion? Ms. Ogg, please call roll. Bailey. Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Elmore? Yes. Connison? Yes. Cantor? Yes. Morrison? Yes. The rules have been suspended. Thank you, Mr. President. Move to adopt. Second. Motion to adopt. Mm -hmm. Second, or introduced, or not introduced, but by Mr. Bailey, second by Ms. Connison. <coughs> Discussion? Ms. Hogg, please call the roll. Bailey? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Elmore? Yes. <coughs> Connison? Yes. <coughs> Cantor? Yes. Morrison? Yes. <clears throat> Ordinance 78 2021 has been adopted. Resolution 2021 will be read by title only, approving the recommendations of the City of Whitehall Tax Incentive Review Council for tax year 2020. 2020. Uh, resolution 23 2021 agree to an adjustment to the city's boundaries by consenting to a transfer of approximately 3.34 plus or minus acres from the City of Columbus to the City of Whitehall. Mr. President, I wish to introduce. Resolution 23-2021, ask for suspension of all rules. Second. <coughs> Resolution 23-2021 has been introduced by Mr. Morrison, seconded by Ms. Elmore, with the request to suspend all rules. Any discussion? Ms. Ogg, please call roll. Bailey? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Elmore? Yes. Connison? Yes. Cantor? Yes. Morrison? Yes. Rules have been suspended. Move to adopt. Second. Motion to adopt by Mr. Morrison, second by Ms. Elmore. Any discussion? Ms. Ogg, please call roll. Bailey? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Elmore? Yes. Connison? Yes. Cantor? Yes. Morrison? Yes. Resolution 23, 2021 has been adopted. Now it brings us to our first readings. First one will be by title only, 80, 2021, amending section 509.01 of the codified ordinances titled Mayor may proclaim regulations and declaring an emergency. Also read, being read by title only, is Ordinance 81, 2021, amending Section 509.03 of the codified ordinances titled Proclamation, Termination, and Declaring an Emergency. Ordinance 82, 2021, will be read by title only, making a fund transfer in the amount of $283,084 dollars the bond retirement account 101-950-57,500, the debt service fund 401. Ordinance 83, 2021 will be read by title only, making a fund transfer in the amount of $46,241.64 to 
to the Bond Retirement Account 101 950 57,500, to the Debt Service Fund 401, and declaring an emergency. Ordinance 84 2021, also will be read by title only, approving and making a fund transfer in the amount of $149,426.25 from various accounts in the Wynn Petty Fund, 279, to the Debt Service Fund, 401. That brings us to Ordinance 85, 2021, authorizing and approving the amendment of 161.37A and declaring an emergency. Mr. President, I'd like to introduce Ordinance 85, 2021, move for the suspension of all rules. Second. Mr. Rodriguez, <clears throat> second by Ms. Elmore, has introduced Ordinance 85, 2021, requesting the suspension of all rules. Any discussion? Ms. Ogg, please call roll. Bailey? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Elmore? Yes. Connison? Yes. Cantor? Yes. Morrison? Yes. The rules have been suspended. Thank you, Mr. President. Move to adopt. Second. A motion to mm -hmm. adopt by Mr. Rodriguez, second by Ms. Elmore. Any discussion? Ms. Ogg, please call roll. Bailey? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Elmore? Yes. Connison? Yes. Cantor? Yes. Morrison? Yes. Ordinance 85 2021 has been adopted. Ordinance 86 2021, authorizing and approving the following change to 161.38 and 161.41 salary schedule and declaring an emergency. Mr. President, I'd like to introduce Ordinance 86 2021, move for the suspension of all rules. Second. <clears throat> Mr. Rodriguez, seconded by Ms. Elmore, has introduced Ordinance 86 2021 with the request to suspend all rules. Any discussion? Ms. Ogg, please call roll. Bailey? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Elmore? Yes. Connison? Yes. Cantor? Yes. Morrison? Yes. The rules have been suspended. Mr. President, I'd like to introduce Ordinance 87 2021, repealing Ordinance 46. Wait, 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 no, 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 Chris, we're still on 86. We just suspended the rules on 86. Oh, oh. Move to adopt. We got moved to adopt. Sorry about that. Move to adopt. Second. Thank you. Got to hate myself. That happens to me all the time. Uh, a motion to adopt 86 2021 uh, by Mr. Rodriguez, second by Ms. Elmore. Any discussion? Ms. Hogg, please call roll. Bailey? Yes. Rodriguez? Sure. Elmore? Yes. Connison? Yes. Cantor? Yes. Morrison? Yes. Ordinance 86 2021 has been adopted. Resolution 25 2021. Accepting amounts and rates as determined by the Budget Commission authorizing ne necessary tax levies and certifying them to the County Auditor and declaring an emergency. Mr. President, I'd like to introduce Resolution 25-2021 and move for suspension of rules. Second. Mr. Bailey, with a second from Ms. Connison, has introduced Resolution 25-2021 and requested request suspension of all rules. Any discussion? Ms. Ogg, please call roll. Bailey? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Elmore? Yes. Connison? Yes. Cantor? Yes. Morrison? Yes. The rules have been suspended. <clears throat> Move to adopt. Second. A motion to adopt by Mr. Bailey, seconded by Ms. Connison. Any discussion? Ms. Ogg, please call roll. Bailey? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Elmore? Yes. Connison? Yes. <coughs> Cantor? Yes. Morrison? Yes. Resolution 25 2021 has been adopted. Resolution 26 2021, resolving to approve the then announced certificates and declaring an emergency. Mr. President, I'd like to introduce Resolution 26 2021, move for suspension of rules. Second. Mr. Bailey, with a second from Mr. Rodriguez, has introduced Ordinance 26 2021 with a request to suspend all rules. Any discussion? Ms. Ogg, please call Bailey? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Elmore? Yes. Connison? Mm -hmm. Yes. Cantor? Yes. Morrison? Yes. The rules have been suspended. Thank you, Mr. President. I'll move to adopt. Second. Motion to adopt by Mr. Bailey, second by Mr. Rodriguez. Any discussion? Ms. Ogg, please call roll. Bailey? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Elmore? Yes. Connison? Yes. Cantor? Mm -hmm. Yes. Morrison? Yes. Resolution 26 2021 has been adopted. That now brings us to Ordinance 87, 2021, repealing Ordinance 46, 2021, and declaring an emergency. Mr. President, now I'd like to introduce Ordinance 87, 2021, and move to the suspension of all rules. Second. 
Mr. Rodriguez, with a second from Mr. Cantor, has introduced Ordinance 87 2021 and requested the suspension of all rules. Is there any discussion? Ms. Ault, please call the roll. Bailey? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Elmore? Yes. Connison? Yes. Cantor? Yes. Morrison? Yes. The so rules have been suspended. Thank you. thank you, Mr. President. Move to adopt. Second. A motion to adopt by Mr. Rodriguez, second by Mr. Morrison. Any discussion on the motion? Yes, uh, Mr. President, we are directing the developer to start over on this project by holding productive meetings with the neighbors and neighborhood to work towards a consensus and compromise and come back to this body with a better project for all parties. Thank you, I appreciate the clarification. Any additional discussion? Mm -hmm. Ms. Ogg, please call roll. Bailey? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Elmore? Yes. Connorson? Yes. Cantor? Yes. Morrison? Yes. Ordinance 87-2021 has been approved. Our final piece of legislation this evening is Resolution 27-2021, which is withdrawing the submission of the question of approving Ordinance Number 46-2021 to electors at the November 2nd, 2021 general election due to City Council's repeal of the ordinance. Mr. President, I'd like to introduce resolution 27, 2021, move with the suspension of all rules. Second. <clears throat> Mr. Rodriguez has introduced resolution 27, 2021, second by Mr. Morrison, with the request to suspend all rules. Any discussion? Ms. Ogg, please call roll. Bailey? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Elmore? Yes. Connison? Yes. Cantor? Yes. Morrison? Yes. The rules have been suspended. Thank you, Mr. President. Move to adopt. Second. A motion to adopt by Mr. Rodriguez, second by Mr. Morrison. Any discussion? Ms. Ogg, please call roll. Bailey? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Elmore? Yes. Connorson? Mm -hmm. Yes. Cantor? Yes. Morrison? Yes. Resolution 27 2021 has been adopted. This now brings us to our second full public of the evening. And should anybody wish to come forward again, please state your name, address, and keep your comments for three minutes. Hearing nobody, I will then move on to community day four. Yes, I'm looking at you, Karen. Oh, I know, I thought that was... <laughs> That's not like you. I know. <laughs> does it, anybody else have anything? Well, does anybody have anything for community day four? Very good. We'll now move to poll council. Mr. Bailey. Oh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, thank you all for coming. Folks at home listening in. Mike, I appreciate your the things you share with us almost every meeting is phenomenal. And, and uh, to back up what you said about our safety forces, even our EMS uh, true firemen and, uh, and all those folks over here that take care of the city do a phenomenal job. And it's nice when uh, you know, we can recognize them in an environment like your court today. And they handle it with, not only with professionalism, but they care, they're good people. Kelsey, it's nice to meet you. Dan, surely something can be done. Mm -hmm. I'm sure uh, you'll be contacted. And Jim, it's good to see you in this room again. And last, Mr. President, I'd like to wish Mr. Rodriguez a happy birthday. Um, like plus three. Or, or four. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Mr. Birthday Boy, or Mr. Rodriguez, <laughs> did you have anything? Thank you, Mr. President. Um, good to see everyone out here in, out in TV land. Um, <laughs> Lori had such wonderful words for her birthday. I was really trying to come up with something to one-up her, but I just couldn't. Uh, however, I did run across some words by, uh, in one of Sean Dietrich's articles. And um, basically, it, uh, you know, I've had a little bit of a rough last year, but so has everyone else. I mean, we've all been in this together, and you know, everyone at this table, everyone in this room has had some trials and tribulations this past year. So I read this and I thought, you know what, this really sums it up. It says, your good moments were like swatches of fabric. Your painful moments were like little pinpricks from a sewing needle, stitching you together like a quilt. And on your final day, you'll see this quilt and think to yourself, my God, wasn't I beautiful? <laughs> Thank you, Ms. President. Nice. Well, you just did it. <laughs> <laughs> but they weren't my words. They were, you, had, look, you spoke those words. 
and, and I could feel your spirit when you said it. So, thank uh, you. And happy birthday to you because you're very special. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to thank everybody that has attended this uh, meeting, uh, those that are viewing from Facebook, social media, and also the guests that we have uh, in the audience. Um, a welcome aboard, Kelsey. You'll love working uh, for Whitehall. I believe that we're top-notch um, administration. And also I want to thank Mr. Sizemore uh, for bringing to awareness your, the issues that are happening and your concern. And I'm sure that we can work together to make sure that we rectify that issue and take some of the uh, things that you talked about under consideration. So I thank you for um, taking the opportunity to bring your concern to us. Um, also, uh, I'd like to just uh, have a minute and, and, and talk about uh, first of all, Jason Thomas, um, 911 hero uh, in Whitehall. Thank you for bringing that uh, forward. Um, Langford has a cookout gathering with that community every year, and uh, it is very, very nice that everybody comes together. And it's not just one or two people, it's the whole area comes together, and they do this big. Um, picnic and, and I was not fortunate enough to be there this year because I had a family reunion. So I sent my, my um, uh, information to Jason and I'm so sorry I missed it, but uh, they do a phenomenal job. Uh, he also is, is very instrumental in that um, residence of, they have a, wow, I can't think of the um, association? No, they have the, uh, Oh, Lord have mercy. Uh, neighborhood Watch. There we go. Neighborhood Watch. And I have participated in their Neighborhood Watch. But I just think that they are a very close-knit community, and I'm happy that they continue to build upon the relationships that they have with each other. And I also want to talk about um, how the officer, Officer Jeremy Brown, demonstrated and handled that situation. It reminds me of what we learned when we were in our co cohort of governing um, essentials for local leaders, and it's verbal judo. And not only did we learn that in our class, but also I do some part-time work with the shot, and they used Whitehall as an example of verbal judo because we use that when we have to uh, de-escalate situations. And that was a proud moment to, to take that training and to see that Whitehall was used as one of as one of the training modules to talk about how to de-escalate situations. So I'm glad that's not just something that you're taught and you don't do, but it is practice. And so I'm glad you witnessed that. And, and it kind of just jarred my memory. We learned that in class. So I'm just I'm just thankful that we have that type of um, you know officer that will not just immediately get on the defensive, but they make every effort to de-escalate. And um, another thing, I think everybody, you know, I was, I was reflecting on this because the past almost two years, we have gone through ups and downs, and it kind of reminds me of the, the, the story of the quilt uh, and the things that people have gone through, and we all have seen either family members or people in the community just act differently, act out of sorts, and that's where compassion comes in, and I think that's where uh, empathy comes in, and I think that's where our better selves come in to try to help realize that, you know what, we don't know what people are going through. We have been separated for so long that now coming back together, it's reconnecting community again. So it's kind of relearning some things, and the fact that we are wearing face coverings, and we're still going through this pandemic, it still gives us uh, an uneasiness, but it's it, it's something that we need to work together, uh, work through together. So I'm just uh, thankful that we as a community can come back and start reconnecting with each other and recognize that everybody handles things differently and we just have to recognize that we just have to be more compassionate and show more love and tolerance and patience. Mm -hmm. And um, that's all I have for us today. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Ms. Elmore. Very nicely said. Ms. Connison. I have nothing. <laughs> I think everything's been said. I agree with everything that everybody has said. 
Kelsey, I believe that we know a lot of the same people. Um, I've heard that. Yes. Um, Mr. Sizemore, thank you so much for coming and bringing that to our attention, because I did not know about that. Um, and thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you. Mr. Cantor. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, ditto to what Karen just said. So uh, thanks, everybody, for watching and coming. It's nice seeing new faces out here. It's, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's really nice. Mr. Sizemore, I, I, I agree with you on that. I know I've been over there quite a bit before the last few years, and I've seen it when it's happened. So hopefully we can get something done to better your life as you walk out and sit out there and have a cup of coffee. You know what you like. You don't have to look at all this graffiti out there. Um, good luck, Kelsey. Thank you for coming. This is one of our shorter meetings. Maybe you can hit us when we're, when we're here for like our four-hour meetings that we have. No. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, Lori Elmore, very well said and thank you. From your heart, you're a highly intelligent individual and you speak from the heart and that's what you just said is phenomenal. Uh, it's, you know, it's, you had my attention. So, uh, Mr. Bivens, I wanted to thank you on that as well, sir. I know Jeremy Brown as I do. You know many police officers and we have an awesome police department led by Chief Crispin and uh, Actually led by the mayor and then Chief Crispin, but Chief Crispin is uh, he brought pride to our police force and he does a good job. And uh, before I say hi girl, daddy loves you, I have to say happy 70th, Mr. Rodriguez. I know that uh, you'll be here for another 70 years. So with that, Mr. Perfect, that's all I got. Okay. Like I've said before, heaven don't want me and hell's afraid I'll take over. Uh, Mr. Morrison. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I'm sorry to ask the follow when we're here. I uh, reflect the sentiments of everyone here. I thank everyone for watching and everyone who attended. Thank you very much. Have a good week. Thank you. Uh, I, too, would like to, well, I'd, actually, first I'd like to start off by thanking Mr. Bailey, uh, mm -hmm. President Pro Tem Bailey, for covering my absences for the last several meetings. Very much appreciated, and uh, you know, he did a wonderful job, but uh, that means a lot, and I feel very comfortable. Uh, with him in charge. Mr. Sizemore, you've heard us all night, but again, thank you, because if you don't mention it, then they don't know it, you can't address it, so you did the, the perfect thing, and I encourage others to do the same. Um, and Kelsey, welcome. Uh, look forward to uh, meeting you again and uh, spending some time. And Jim, always a pleasure to see you, so glad you're back and not having to watch us on the little TV. So I have got nothing further. Mr. President, move to adjourn. Second. A motion to, from Mr. Bailey, second by Mr. Rodriguez, to adjourn. Is there any discussion? Ms. Owen, please call roll. Bailey? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Elmore? Yes. Connison? Yes. Cantor? Yes. Morrison? Yes. We are adjourned.